loves, in this episode we're going to chat about what equipment you actually need to start a photography business and I'm going to share the exact photography equipment that I use in my boudoir business that has made me over $685,783.69 over the past six years. photographer and business and marketing mentor helping creatives turn their passion into profits. On this channel I share tips and tricks and hacks to having a wildly profitable and successful photography business. Have you ever heard, ooh you have a fancy camera that's why your pictures always look so good? Yeah, I call bullshit. It really takes a creative eye and understanding of how your camera works an understanding of lighting and how to use lighting appropriately to really create an image that evokes emotion or to capture the essence of a person in a photograph. Contrary to popular belief, your equipment actually has very little to do with this. You see, a passionate photographer and a skilled photographer can find available light and backdrops and subjects to create gorgeous works of art even from an iPhone. So okay, yes, your professional camera features allow you to control more variables and have sharper images through higher resolution options and there's a lot more creative options and features on professional cameras, but you don't need a lot of fancy equipment to get started and take gorgeous portraits that produce profit. So if you're starting a photography business or you're looking to create an income from your passion, you have to really keep your costs as low as possible to maximize your profits. So my recommendation is to really get clear on what the bare minimum that you need in equipment is for the genre that you're going to be shooting or niching in and only buy that bare minimum because you're also going to need additional money and capital to start your business and in addition to your equipment. So you might even consider buying used equipment until you start making enough profit to upgrade. I personally actually shot with my first generation DSLR until seven years ago. Um, currently, I shoot with a Canon 6D, the same camera that I bought seven years ago after upgrading from that first generation Canon 10D. And I've made over $685,000 with just that camera. So yeah, I told you you don't have to have the fanciest or the latest and greatest equipment to have a successful and profitable photography business. Um, as far as lenses go, I own one Canon 50mm 1.4 lens, which I use exclusively for boudoir and portraits. Occasionally I ponder getting a 35mm since I shoot in smaller spaces, but so far I've just rented one from Borrow Lenses when I needed it based on the shoot. Um, I will say a 35mm is great for getting full frame shots in tight spaces like hotel rooms, so if you're shooting in a hotel room it might be handy to have as a boudoir photographer, but you have to be really careful when using a 35mm, you don't want to get up too close to the subject because you get distortion. So really that's it, I use my Canon 6D and a 50mm lens. So I also often get asked whether Canon or Nikon is better. Honestly, my parents gifted me my first film camera when I took my first photography class in high school and it just happened to be a Canon. So I've always been super happy with my Canon camera and lenses, so I've never really had a big enough reason to make the investment in switching to Nikon or even Sony. Although I have heard that Nikon is slightly better in low light, which is appealing since I'm a natural light photographer. And I will say the new mirrorless Sony a7 III definitely has piqued my interest because it has the most amazing eye focus feature and super crisp images, which is appealing as I'm a stickler for sharp images. So I'm pretty tempted to upgrade, but until it makes sense, I will keep it on my wish list. And what I mean by making sense is I mean like at the end of the year, if I need a tax deduction and it makes sense, then I'll upgrade. So let's kind of back up. You might be asking yourself, why do I only use prime lenses? A prime lens has a fixed focal length as opposed to a zoom lens. So you need to personally move closer or further away from a subject when shooting with a prime lens versus a zoom. This may seem a bit annoying, but prime lenses have 
a sharper image due to less diffraction and moving parts. Yeah, that's a little bit technical, but prime lenses also offer a wider aperture lending to better quality and low light and that beautiful bokeh that makes boudoir portraits so dreamy. So for boudoir and closer portraits, a prime lens is ideal. You also might be wondering about lighting equipment. I personally shoot all natural light exclusively, so I don't own any studio lights, which is cheaper for me, definitely keeping that overhead down. So I use window light and a $20 reflector from Lowe's, that's it. It definitely keeps it simple and I absolutely love the timeless airy feel of natural light. But of course, not all photographers have the privilege of living in the fourth sunniest place on earth, Las Vegas. Um, so adding studio light equipment to your repertoire might be necessary for you depending on what genre that you're shooting. But remember, even when buying lighting, to only buy the bare minimum necessary that's going to get the job done. Just like the importance of calculating your marketing ROI or return on investment, it's super important to make sure you're getting a positive ROI in all areas of your business, including your equipment. This is because you don't want your business to end up being just a super expensive hobby. I've seen it happen too many times. <laughs> I do have a few other shoot accessories that I will link below, but just remember to keep it simple and minimal if you're building a photography business. Low overhead equals maximum profit. And you don't need the latest and greatest to make over half a million dollars from your passion. I'm proof. So thanks guys for hanging out with me. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow photographers. Also make sure to subscribe for more tips, tricks, and hacks to helping you build a wildly profitable photography business. See you in the next video.